All right, so today is the evening of day 35. 35 days since I bought these two little red-tailed catfish. And I bought them about two weeks old. So they're 35 days plus two weeks. And I see one little catfish over there. Actually, before I unplugged the pump, he was up on the shelf over there on the bench, which is pretty interesting. It's the first time I've seen him up on the bench. It looks like he actually just came down. Have another one, hopefully, under this filter here. And it still seems like one is a lot darker than the other. Although that one was really pale for a while, way over there. It seems like he's darkened up a little bit, not as pale as he used to be. Uh, so I want to take this filter out so I can get him concentrating on eating instead of hiding in the filter. Oh, I messed up because uh, I have my uh, my food. <laughs> My food is, let me see if I can balance this up here with one hand. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I need to put my filter on the towel so it doesn't leak all over. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup before we feed these guys. Clean up with this net here. They're getting big fast. Getting pretty big. It seems like the bigger they get, the faster they're growing. I guess because they eat more. I was actually reading the conversion rate of food to body mass of the catfish is something like 90% or something, which is kind of crazy. So if they get really big and you feed them a pound of food, it converts into 0.9 pounds of, of weight on your catfish. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. I can't believe how much it converts. I don't know if that's true or not, but I just thought that number was incredible as far as a conversion rate. I think that's why once they get a certain size and they start eating bigger meals, they'll just get really big really fast. All right, so I'm going to give them some food. Today we're feeding them beef liver. They're hands down their favorite. Let's see if I can feed them without overfeeding. <laughs> That's kind of the thing with these guys. It just seems like they just keep eating and eating. All right, so I'm gonna put this camera in an underwater housing and give you some underwater video. So today is the morning of day 36. 36 days since I bought these two little red-tailed catfish. We'll see how big they are today. And wow, <laughs> it looks like he got really big overnight. Look at how big he is. He's on the filter. It looks like he grew like half an inch overnight. That's crazy. Wow. I don't know what's going on with this fish. 
He looks really big today, <laughs> just overnight. I don't know if it's the angle he's sitting at. Take a look at how big he is. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. All right, so I'm going to pull this filter out. That's pretty amazing. I can't even believe that. All right, I'm going to pull this filter out so they don't hide under their filter. So I can feed them. They are growing big fast. I think it was just the angle he's kind of sitting at. He seemed really super big. All right, so today I actually brought, let me, let me move my net here. I always lean up against the hot tub and then I get soaked right along the edge here. So I brought another towel <laughs> so I don't get soaked. Clean it up here. All right, so I'm going to start with cleaning up a little bit. Looks like I missed a couple little pieces of food down here. I always clean up before and after just a little bit to keep the extra food out, keep the bio load low for these guys. Of course, when they get really big, it's going to be a really heavy bio load. But I've been doing 50% water changes once a week, so should be good enough. All right, so today I'm going to feed them some shrimp tails from the supermarket. Chopped up shrimp tails, raw shrimp. All right. So I'm going to put this camera in an underwater housing and give you a little bit of underwater video.